Well, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is in Tokyo for a trip aimed at strengthening economic ties with Japan. Scholz has been meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. The pair have been discussing ways to strengthen economic security and reduce dependence on Chinese raw materials. They've also talked about the war in Ukraine. DW's chief political correspondent Nina Haza is travelling with Chancellor Olaf Scholz. She joins me now from Tokyo. Nina, hi there. Uh, tell us what importance does Japan have for Germany in terms of economic security? Well, Japan is Germany's second largest trading partner in Asia. And perhaps most importantly, even, uh, both countries see each other as very similar. They say they share values, but also their economies are structurally very similar. And there's a lot of scope for deeper collaboration between the two, because for long, Germany neglected Japan in favor of China. So today here, they both said again, Olaf Scholz and the Japanese prime minister, that both countries have seen that big dependency on big players like China and Russia is dangerous and painful. They said they learned that during the COVID pandemic and, of course, Russia's war against Ukraine. And so they say diversification is key and they agreed to strengthen economic collaboration. Nina, you said that China is currently Germany's most important trading partner in the region. How much room for manoeuvre does this all give Olaf Scholz? Well, that's, of course, a tightrope walk. Now, both countries are very dependent on China, but at the same time, they're also saying that uh, they need to diversify, they need to reduce their dependencies. And so here today in Tokyo, both governments agreed uh, to work together more closely when it comes to sourcing critical minerals and also supporting efforts to do more research and to give incentives to Japanese and German businesses to do mining, but also refining mining and processing of those minerals so that they can reduce the dependency of China on China. They also say that they don't want decoupling from China. And in Japan, um, the system works that, uh, as such that the state and businesses um, work together hand in hand, essentially, to develop an economic strategy. In Germany, that's not the case. And Olaf Scholz says that he just hopes that businesses themselves will see that they need to reduce dependencies on China and that the government government uh, can offer support and incentives for them to actually diversify. Just quickly, Nina, what did Schultz and Kishida have to say about Ukraine? Well, Japan was one of the first countries to condemn Russia's war against Ukraine, and it also adopted um, all of the so-called Western sanctions against Russia. And, uh, of course, the fear here in Japan is that if Putin has his way in Ukraine, that that might send a very, very dangerous mm. signal to other autocrats around the world, particularly China, of course. And so mm. they say that uh, this must not happen. Geopolitical situations cannot be changed by force. Nina Haza in Tokyo. Thanks, Nina.